The rule of thirds. You should try and use the rule of thirds as a guide for framing your shot. Imagine your picture is divided up into thirds by two horizontal and two vertical lines. Placing your subject either on the lines or on the intersections is much more pleasing to the eye. You can also apply the rule of thirds to the horizon or to other elements within your composition. When filming your project, be sure to film the same subject in a variety of shot sizes. Try filming a wide shot, medium shot and close up at the very least to give yourself options when editing. Be wary of continuity. Can you spot the continuity error in this short clip? In case you missed it, the subject was wearing glasses in one shot, but not in the other. Make sure you watch out for mergers in your composition. For example, the yellow pole in this shot appears to be coming out of the subject's head. If the background appears busy, then consider simplifying the background by zooming in and allowing the subject to fill more of the frame. Make sure you don't leave too much headspace above your subject. Make sure your subject isn't looking out of shot like this. You should leave space in front of the subject. This is referred to as lead space. Use the rule of thirds to position your subject. Filming your subject from a low angle will make your subject appear domineering and make them loom over the shot. Filming from a high angle will make your subject appear smaller and more vulnerable. Filming your subject at eye level creates more empathy with your subject and creates a more balanced composition. You can frame the subject using natural objects such as trees. In this shot, the foliage overhead frames the top of the shot as well as adding depth to the composition. Leading lines can help draw the viewer's eyes through the image. One of the most graceful leading lines used in composition is called the S-curve.